Okay, we changed up. We're gonna have uh, uh, Indians on this side and the Mexicans on this side. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. See you. Okay. Photographers, we're gonna line them up right where you're at. Right there.
James Callahan from We Act Radio in Washington, D.C. You are watching the first moments of the opening ceremonies of the Cowboy and Indian Alliance Keystone XL protest. We are on the National Mall right from the Capitol building in beautiful Washington, D.C. We have groups of Americans here with ranchers and farmers from the Midwest who are all um, situated along the Keystone XL pipeline route. And they are telling Obama to, and Secretary Kerry, to reject and protect their land, water, and climate, and tribal rights. Um, they're basically saying that Obama needs to reject this pipeline so they can protect their families, their environment, and their children's futures. The Cowboy and Indian Alliance is a group of farmers, ranchers, and tribal leaders who are fighting the Keystone XL pipeline and other tar sands pipelines because they threaten their land, water, climate, and tribal treaty rights. They've come to Washington to host a five-day encampment on the National Mall, and they're here to show President Obama the faces of people whose lives will be directly impacted by his decision on Keystone XL, and to remind him the threat this tar sands pipeline poses to our climate, land, water, and tribal rights. Peter James Callahan, We Act Radio, Washington, D.C. You are watching live 
the opening ceremonies of the Cowboy Indian Alliance Keystone XL protest. It's a five-day um, encampment on the National Mall where they're here to show President Obama the faces of people whose lives will be directly impacted by his decision on Keystone XL and to remind him that this pipeline threatens our climate, their land, their water, and tribal rights. Farmers and ranchers know the risk of the pipeline first.
you're watching Washington DC, the group of cowboy and Native Americans are here to protest the Keystone XL. This is Peter Callahan, We Act Radio, Washington, D.C. You're watching the opening march of the Cowboy Indian Alliance Keystone XL protest in Washington, D.C. We're right now we're passing the Museum of the American Indian. Um, we are en route from the U.S. Capitol building to the White House to tell President Obama that he must reject the Keystone XL pipeline for our children, our grandchildren, and our planet.
such as um, spearheaded by the Cowboy and Indian Alliance, a group of ranchers and farmers in the West and Midwest, along with Native American groups, um, tribal delegations and leaders. We're all here to tell President Obama to reject the Keystone XL pipeline as they are the faces of the people that it would be affecting if he does let it go through. President Obama said he would reject Keystone if it significantly increased the greenhouse gas emissions, and clearly it does. Keystone XL is a climate disaster. It would trans-
we got to switch to the... Well, where am I supposed to pull around?
second, ladies. Hold on to. Hold on to ESB. Well, we have to stay connected to all the things, but yeah, we, that's what we're kind of doing. Which audio is pulling right now? Can you silence the audio? Can you just walk the camera onto the mall? Yeah. So what's your plan right now? This is like, do you see what I'm doing right now? I am moving this camera as far as I can that way. You gotta get out of the way. That's shooting, and that's the only thing that's shooting the thing right now. So we can't get up there, so we're not gonna actually have a shot of the event. We tried to drive on there, and they said you didn't all access the permit. Yeah, yeah. Do. do they have one? No, I was talking to the supervisor, so that's probably why they said no, because you guys were already up there and annoying them. Wait, um... They weren't going to give us one. No, I was, I was running to get, I was talking to them, telling them to get them to do it. I went to the supervisor, that's why I walked all the way across the table. So we can't just walk the camera and the gear all the way up there? No. Like, we need to be next to the car. We're only, it's only going to be having a half an hour, so we don't need that much battery power. Yeah, we can do it. Let's do it. So what do we need to do to make that happen? It's going to be over by the time you get shit switched. Yeah. Oh, we really need one camera. Yeah. Let's just bring this one and go. An audio. An audio. audio. There's audio built in this camera. That's not good audio. Okay, like... I thought you would stop. Yeah. It's what? what we use the exact same type of audio. We take the recorder and put it into the camera. Okay. Yeah. No. Okay. 
take my camera with you? The long one? Great Sioux Nation is made up of an alliance of three divisions, the Lakota, Dakota, and Nakota. When we start to build the teepee, we're going to erect a tripod. And the tripod, those first three poles, represents the alliance of those three bands of the Great Sioux Nation. We're then going to hand poles up. And as we hand the poles up, what we're going to do is we're going to form the start to the points of a star. Because the Lakota believe that we come from the stars. And that once, and so we're going to build an image of Earth. a woman and it represents the mother earth the flaps of the teepee are then going to be spread around the teepee and this represents the woman wrapping her arms around the teepee and enfolding it and making it a home and then we're going to pull the teepee together and we're going to lash it together we're putting an eighth teepee up to represent an alliance of the Lakota and of the farmers and ranchers and the cowboys and also to represent the other tribes that have come here to join us today. Historically, cowboys and Indians fought. But it's modern times. Things have changed. And so now we're joining together. We're holding hands. We're forming an alliance to protect that which is sacred to us, to protect the land, to protect the water. And so this is a historic moment here in DC where we have traditional enemies coming together and we exchange gifts and we made friends and relatives with the other people here. And together, we're going to raise our voices and we're going to let the administration know that we will be heard. We're going to let the American people know that we will be heard. The reason why we're coming together is because this is our land. We're not going to move. Lakota people, Indian people have been here for 10,000 years and we're going to be here for 10,000 more. We've been joined by new relatives, the farmers and the ranchers, and they've made a home on the land as well. And for those parts where they own, they're going to stay there for generations. They've been there for generations and they're going to stay there for generations. And that's why we're forming an alliance to protect the land, to protect our water. So with that, we're going to uh, introduce Faith Spotted Eagle. She's a traditional elder, a uh, knowledgeable spiritual leader, and uh, you know one of our grandmothers. And so it's a big honor to introduce her and she's going to share a lot of wisdom with us. With that, I'll hand it over. Wukula. and relatives, we greet you on this beautiful red day. I'm standing here with allies to my left and to my right. Uh, 
Dakhod Michaje. I'm Standing Stone. My English name is Faith Sparadigo. I'm from the Ihantuma Oyate. The English people call us Yankton. We call ourselves Ihantuma. Almost every tribal group, the translation of our name is the people. So we stand here with the people. To my left are the allies, part of our linguistic group, the great Southern Ponca Nation of Oklahoma. Their first spiritual camp, they came together in January of last year and we create, recreated the international treaty uh, to protect the sacred against KXL and tar sands intrusions. We signed an actual treaty in January of 2013. Uh, Southern Ponca came up and joined us. The, pa the great Pawnee Nation of Oklahoma, who are traditional enemies, came forward. We established relationship with them and we have presented this treaty to the Tar Sands First Nations people up in Canada. We've had six more First Nations come forward and sign that treaty. And that treaty, with that treaty we mean business. Of all people, we know how not to break a treaty. We know that well. And so we stand by that treaty. Many other nations have come forth. We now have 10 First Nations in a sovereign way that are standing with that treaty. At that event, we had our allies who also signed that treaty. And in their time when they came, when the settler uh, nation came to our lands, we used to present buffalo robes to honor people. When we were captive on the reservations, we couldn't always hunt our buffalo. So many of the settler women uh, brought their sewing skills. And because we come from the Star Nation, we began to sew the star quilts. And with their standing beside us, we began to present star quilts as part of our way of honoring in place of the buffalo robe. The buffalo robe is what originally, when it was tanned, was used to cover, as Wizipa um, Tushka said, that in symbolizes the arms of the women encircling the nation. And as he said, the backbone of the nation is the women because we are co-creator. And being co-creator, we have to be very humble about that because we also bring life. So we have to walk in that way of remembrance that we have a responsibility, but we also turn into mother bear. And we stand here as mother bears to defend our land, our farms, our ranches, our tre treaty territory. They're violating our treaty territory, treaty water. And we've come to say that enough is enough. We are not going to let TransCanada pass our treaty lands. The, the teepee, what we're doing now with the teepee is the 13 poles symbolize the 13 moons that women experience on Mother Earth. We have 13 moons and every four days of that month you are seen as being sacred. You sit in a humble way and you begin to realize your representation for the nation. The rope that will go down in the middle of the teepee, it'll connect with Mother Earth. That some symbolizes our umbilical cord to Mother Earth. We are here symbolic of the representation of Mother Earth. We are worried about man camps that are coming to our territory. If we have seen our women suffer, one out of three women in our nation have been sexually assaulted by non-native people. When you assault us, you assault Mother Earth, and we can't have that. So in this teepee, we're sharing our lodge with you. The lodge is a place where everybody has a place in there, and we're going to create this lodge for all of you. We're going to do it with prayers. We have Nacha, which is warriors, and the young women will put the last teepee pole in place to symbolize that backbone of that nation. But there's many, many teachings in each one of those actions that will take place it's a ceremony of our people so we're really thankful that you can witness us with us today there are teepees that are going up all along the keystone corridor with the first spiritual camp was on, at neely nebraska on the ponca trail of tears that happened in november the second one is rosebud the third one we have the cheyenne river here somewhere and the bridger camp has gone up in cheyenne river because they're passing through two sacred camps of our people. The next camp will be the Kudwi Chasha, the Lord Rule people will be setting up their camp. For the Ihangtua, our place in the seven council fires is at the end, we watch the door. They've been, they place us there to watch the door, so we're supporting all of the camps. And, and the Oglalas will be setting up on the so-called border. We see no border, 
but they will also be setting up there to be in solidarity with our First Nations brothers and sisters. Wopita. Um, at this time, we're going to transition over here to put the lodge up. Um, the Indigo Girls are a musical uh, group that they're going to be performing on stage while that, that lodge goes up. But they're going to be facing that way. So we're transitioning. Cameras folks can come back around. Um, our supporters, ranchers, uh, our native folks can move towards towards the TP area. We're going to be putting the lodge up.
Okay. Yeah, so we have these, uh, from 
Uh, hello, my relatives and friends out there. A lot of really awesome people here. Thank you all for coming. My name is Winona LaDuke. I'm a Anishinaabe from Anishinaabe King, which is uh, northern Minnesota and beyond. Land of Great Lakes and water. We'd like to keep it that way. We'd like to keep our water clean, just like our Lakota relatives to the west. We came out here to support these people. We're very, very honored to be here with them. We've, wrote, we've written three pipelines out in our territory because we do not believe oil should mix with water. So I'm here to introduce our friends. On the board of Honor the Earth are two of my best friends for 21 years. Honor the Earth is a national native environmental organization and we came together recognizing that music soothes our souls, empowers our spirits, and is beautiful to the creator. And so, two of my very good friends for many years, Amy and Emily, the Indigo Girls, they came here to sing for us. So I'm singing for the prayer. So we're gonna just sing on, just kind of sing, and this mic's gonna be here, sort of picking us up. But you may not hear the microphone. Actually, you might just hear us. Um, so, yeah, so if you don't hear it at all, just move up or something. We're going to try to sing loud. We're going to start out with a song by Emily called Love of Our Lives, which is dedicated to the fight to protect what we love, which is water and the climate and the land. And we are really proud to be here in this encampment with the Cowboys and the Indians. It's really nice. It's a great little collaboration and we appreciate all the work they're doing. They're, it's right, right on. Broken hearts, 
fix me, oil me, match me with the next best thing. Uh -huh. Person to person, nation to nation, heels dug in, no communication. Wallet time, sneaks for weather I'm ready to glow. I'm trying to help. Thank you with an army of words. I strategize. I am fighting for the love of the life. Oxygen, scotch and soda, any combination starts the reaction. Is there no mastermind of modern day who can blueprint the plan and make love stay? Sturdy and weatherproof, ushering in a new revolution. Drawing for the whole one still try. How can we help it when we're fighting for the love of our lives? The hopeful one still try. How can we help it when we're fighting for the love of our lives? do a song that um, it's kind of a general protest song to uh, encourage people to not just sit by and let things happen but to get up and fight for what's right which is what you guys are doing we appreciate all that And then we're all going to sing Kumbaya together, okay? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> through the dust, pulled through the dead Grandma was a suffragette Blacklisted for her publications Blacklisted for our generation Go, go, go. Raise your hands, raise your hands high. Woo! Don't take a seat, don't stand aside. It's time. Don't assume anything, just go. Upsetters. The rock is cool, but the struggle is better. Oh, no, no. Raise your hands, raise your hands. Yeah, I'm gonna start doing it. 
Thank you. Yeah. 
This is Peter James Callahan from We Act Radio in Washington, D.C. We are going to be signing off in just a moment because, alas, we are running out of battery power. Um, we hope you enjoyed watching um, all of the 
march and then the performance by the indigo girls and the speeches and everything and we hope you all recognize how important it is that president obama rejects the keystone xl pipeline um right away for our children our grandchildren for our water for our land for the rights of all these wonderful people from all the different tribes who are here we need to reject keystone xl it's a dirty horrible no good very bad idea please stay tuned to we act radio in washington dc for more coverage of the Cowboy Indian Alliance Keystone, Keystone XL encampment and protests. Thanks for watching. Signing off. Thanks for watching. Make sure you visit us at, at youtube.com slash reactradio DC.